Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Gottlieb, here to demonstrate how to restore that large class 2 lesion with the wide open box or missing cusp. In order to achieve a tight forcible contact when utilizing a resin or composite, we need to separate the teeth over time. This separation compensates for the thickness of the matrix band. To separate the teeth, we need to use the interproximal wedge and a separating ring. With larger lesions, it's often impossible to place the separating ring. When the ring is seated, it often crushes the matrix band into the box. Even with conservative preparations, the separating ring will regularly pinch the matrix band or pushes it against the adjacent tooth. Then one day I was cleaning up cement and it occurred to me that wedges no longer have to be triangular in shape. So I engineered the absolute best contact wedge, the ABC wedge. Not only is the wedge anatomically correct, but has a groove down the back to line up the separating ring. This groove centers the rings and prevents the ring from slipping or popping off the tooth. The original dental wedge was designed to be placed between the teeth to prevent excess amalgam from being pushed beyond the gingival finish line and preventing an overhang. This patient presents with the chief complaint of chronic bleeding around the bicuspids. The bleeding clearly is a result of poor adaptation of filling material to the tooth itself. Almost every patient today desires white colored anatomic and aesthetic fillings. The challenge when working with posterior composite is to obtain tight flossible contacts. This tooth was pre-wedged to start the separation process and then four ABC wedges utilized to support the matrix band and maintain separation with the Danville Mega Rings. The ABC wedges can be used alone or in pairs. They are available in four sizes, extra small, small, medium, and large. All four sizes are packaged with a left or right curvature to adapt to the natural anatomy of the tooth. When using them in pairs, always use the same direction. Here we have a pair of extra small right ABC wedges. As they swedge closer together, they apply additional pressure against the gingival floor while sealing off the line angles. Now I'd like to show you how to apply this to everyday dentistry. This patient presented with a failed fractured amalgam in tooth number 30, the lower right first molar. The radiograph confirmed recurrent decay directly under the fracture, and the patient requested a white tooth colored filling material. Once the old filling was removed, there was a moderately large box that needed to be filled and that utilizing a separating ring would be difficult if not impossible. If placed directly over a conventional wedge, the matrix band would get crushed into the box. Since there is a rubber dam in place, the ABC wedge will need to be modified to clear the clamp. I'll also trim back the embrasure area of the wedge to broaden the contact area. The ABC wedges were placed on the buccal and lingual, sealing off the gingival floor. The separating ring is then seated along the grooves on the back of the wedges. This not only centers the pressure in approximately, but also secures the ring, and they are less likely to pop out of the mouth. The tooth is then incrementally filled with composite. Here is another challenging case. This older patient fractured tooth number 21, the lower left first bicuspid. This tooth has significant buccal recession and a small thin mesial contact area. All brands of separating rings will write up the cingulate area of the less cusped area and slide off the tooth. The extra small left ABC wedge was placed between the teeth, creating a parallel wall. This allowed placement of the separating ring and generated enough pressure to obtain a flossible contact. Utilizing the ABC wedge system allows you to think differently. Here is a clinical situation where the V-shaped ring fits over the wedge sealing off the cava surface margins, but in actuality prevents the wedge from sealing the gingival floor line angle. V-shaped ring fits over the traditional triangular shaped wedge, keeping the wedge perfectly straight, and the lower fork of the ring prevents the matrix band from adapting to the tooth. Utilizing one large right ABC wedge allowed me to use a posterior composite and restore this tooth back to form and function, maintaining a tight contact. The ABC wedge can be used with any of the currently available separating ring systems. Since the tooth is not flat or square, the ABC wedge is a viable option to seal off the gingival margins. At the same time, it prevents distortion of the matrix band from being crushed inside the box.